All right, so let's do a little update on how that interview went that I was so nervous about. Uh, so last week I had two interviews. I had one in the morning at nine, and it was like a video. It was a video interview. I was really nervous about getting dyskinetic during this uh, interview. And then later in the daytime, I had one in the afternoon on the phone, which was fine. But it'll come around because I ended up meeting him in person for an in-person interview. But so uh, for the video, I was fine. I had just just ever so slightly um, the wiggles, and so it was um, it wasn't really obvious. And uh, for the guy, when I met him in person later that week, what's interesting is I was under the impression. So when I made my video about my fears, I was under the impression that. Uh, that they had looked at my my resume and my cover letter, but I don't think that was the case. Like, I mean, I think they just glanced at it and said, oh, this looks good, and decided to give me a call and just see what I was about that way. So I was under the impression that I got two job interviews with them knowing that I had Parkinson's. And it's interesting because I wonder, would they have actually talked with me? Possibly. I mean, for the, the guy that um, I met, you know, I, I didn't, not for that interview, but I ended up putting together a really great proposal for him. So, I don't know, maybe I would have gotten the call, but it's just that was kind of an interesting twist. But then, it still ends on like a positive note. So, I meet with the guy, and so we have this meeting at like 10 o'clock in the morning, and I get there and I'm fine. And I would like to record these types of meetings because just taking notes, you miss stuff, you're not fast enough, and then if you do get any of your Parkinson's symptoms, you're just not gonna be able to like type or write or take like accurate notes. So anyways, I asked him if I could record and he asked why and I told him. He's like, oh my God, you know, so you know, I told him the story. So we proceed with the meeting and then midway, uh, my dyskinesis kicked in pretty, pretty good. And he, oh, he, he noticed right away and uh, then, you know, he asked me about it and so I just, filled them in on kind of how the medi medications work and the problems of either being too slow or too moving too much. So and I was trying to find that kind of like perfect zone. Um, but anyways, yeah, so we talked about it. He was super nice. We carried on with the meeting and then I ended up getting the job. I mean, it was fantastic. So anyways, I don't know, uh, you know, what's the takeaway message I get is that, okay, we're still going to have challenges, even if you don't have PD, but um, it is still possible to land a job uh, if that is what you are looking to do.